Hey everyone, and welcome to Boss Advisory. Today we're going to talk about fastest self-made teenage millionaires. You have all of these hopes and aspirations as a young child. Since you're still a young child, you don't push yourself to meet them right away. You must first mature. You still have to finish high school, proceed to college, mature, and graduate before you can possibly think about pursuing them. However, some young people want to go a different route and start their businesses when they are still teenagers. Nick Delucio is a good example to use. Although he is no longer a teen, he achieved a million dollar threshold when he was just 16 years old. Nick had previously created a few pretty simple apps when he was much younger. But his first truly popular app was Sumly, unexpectedly released in March 2014. Unfortunately, the app was given the name Trim It. The concept behind it was that it employed an algorithm to condense text into summaries of 1,500 or even 140 characters with 100,000 downloads, such as emails and blog posts. On the App Store, the app was highlighted. Soon after, Trimit caught the eye of business magnates like Lee Cashing, who gave the 16-year-old Delucio $300,000 in capital investment. The lawsuit fully redesigned the app and renamed it into Sunly in December 2011, after obtaining some input. Suddenly set out to address issues with how new stories are displayed on cell phones. After seeing that more than 200,000 people had downloaded the Sunly beta, he assembled a team including a scientist with expertise in natural language understanding to develop the software. In November 2012, Delucio received a million dollars in additional venture capital from celebrities thanks to business sponsorship. He hadn't yet turned 18 at the time. Delucio sold it to Yahoo for about $30 million, and he was happy working there as a product manager. Robert Ney, the second millionaire on this list, likewise amassed his wealth in a very comparable manner. When he was still a young teenager, he began developing the straightforward physics puzzle game Bubble Ball. It's a 156-level puzzle game with challenges ranging from easy to really difficult. Robert, who was only 14 years old at that time, debuted the game in December 2010, once it had been completed. Although Robert wasn't an expert in this subject and the game was quite simple, there were high expectations. But sometimes that's how the best ideas are realized. The game performed better than anyone could have anticipated in its first two weeks. In such a short time, it got 2 million downloads from the App Store alone, which is incredible. The software soon gained popularity and over 16 million downloads, reaching a stage where it prominently featured Angry Birds from the top of the list of the app's free games. The third person on our list has outperformed the others. He got going a little later. He started bizchair.com when he was 14 years old. Since the dot-com bubble burst in 2001 and hundreds of businesses failed, it wasn't the ideal time to launch an online firm. Sean, though, was certain that his plan would succeed and held it in high regard. Eventually, he had absolutely nothing to do. His stepfather made the decision to invest in his business, minus the $500,000. He was just 14 years old, so he had his entire life ahead of him. Even if it utterly failed, he would still gain experience from losing at least $500,000. However, the reality was different. The company launched like a rocket. By 2004, a startup that had originally operated out of a bedroom had expanded to a 40,000-square-foot building, earning millions of dollars in the process and turning its founder, then just 17, into a multimillionaire. BizShare.com reported $13.6 million in sales for the year 2005. Total revenue increased from sales in 2006 to $24 million in 2007. His revenue increased from $37.5 million to $42 million the next year. Fraser Doherty, often known as Jamboy, is the next hero we met. 
Based on his grandmother's recipe, he started creating a sugar-free jam and started selling them on a small scale to his neighbors and nearby businesses. His goals, though, didn't end there. He desired to expand and market his jam all over the nation. He thus persuaded his father to accompany him to the Wade Rose and present his concept to them. They initially resisted. His pricing and labeling were incorrect. However, he didn't give up. He finally got it correct after several tries, and they decided to put it on their stores throughout the UK. The jam soon became so well-liked that it stacked in major retailers like Tesco and Sainsbury. Morrison and his company was generating a million pounds in revenue annually, putting him finally at 10 million. Ashley Coles is the next person in our list. She launched Whatever.com as a hobby when she was just 14 years old. The website, which is solely funded by advertising revenue, was created to offer free MySpace layouts and HTL training to users in her age range. She operated her business out of the basement of her house, where she also employed her mother and friends. She made $70,000 in the first month. But that was just the beginning because by the time she was 17, when she was a young millionaire, she had already made over a million dollars. Coles got several offers to buy her business, including one for $1.5 million and her pick of any car. But she rejected them all. That's an odd choice. In other words, if she went with Austin Martin Valkyrie, the automobile would cost more than they are willing to pay for her website. Shouldn't you simply include that sum in the agreement you are making? That's pretty much it. It appears to have been an unsuccessful attempt to win over a teen. Gladly, she declined the offer because the number of guests kept increasing. Her website received more than 7 million unique visits a month in 2007 and made millions of dollars in the process. After relocating to New Jersey and enrolling in their new school, Catherine and David went through the yearbook and concluded that it was a bad resource for making friends. His sister was shown a picture of a girl who was interested in dating, but there was no means to meet her through the yearbook, and that was sad. They just chose to create an online yearbook and include a feature that allowed users to get to know one another. However, they lacked the resources and expertise to convert their concept into reality. So they engaged an Indian development team. 400 individuals signed up in the first week, and once additional schools started to sign up, it gradually began to grow. The user base reached 1 million in slightly over a year. Even though the teams were already making millions of dollars when Kipasa made an offer to buy Meet Me for $100 million, $18 million in cash, and $82 million in stock, it was the biggest windfall for them. More people than this video could reasonably cover have made millions of dollars while still in their teens. It doesn't really matter how young you are if you have a concept that really inspires you or one that seems like a good company idea that could succeed. And while you're still a teenager, you'll have a lot less to lose than when you're an adult with more obligations. I can speak from my experience when I say that, but the majority of you are adults and there is no going back in time. The lesson is that it doesn't really matter how old or young you are, what matters is how committed you are. However, you need some certainty that your business idea will work before you launch it. You don't want to start a business by spending a ton of time and money only to discover that you are looking into the wrong location. It's true that there are countless options now that the internet has become so popular. But Pat Flynn's book, Will It Fly?, put everything on the line and discovered that it was all a mistake. We'll show you how to test your idea. The beautiful thing about it is that if it turns out to be a mistake, you can go on and start your next company without spending too much time and money. Thank you guys so much for watching Boss Advisory. And if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe, give this video a big thumbs up, and hit the bell so you get notified on every new incredible content we make for you. Have a wonderful day and see you on the next one.